Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Uh, let's see what happened in the barn last night. Oh, Chino and Stormy Boy. Hi. Everybody is inside. And Chino be looking good, you guys. I think we're through the end of it. I think. He looks so good. Sam bought a lock previously when we first moved in. I'll show you. He bought two locks like this, thinking that he would put them on both gates. Or was this lock already here? I don't know, but he bought a lock like this for that gate over there. They're looking at me like, why are you in here without our food? Um, and it didn't work on here for some reason. He couldn't get it to work, so... He thinks that the horses definitely broke out themselves. So he bought this last night. All right, let me get hay. Let me get grain. Whoa. <laughs> I'm starting to see literally a tiny bit of a new Chino. A new Chino. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I can't believe the difference in him. He almost looks his normal self. I just can't believe it. Look at him. I swear he even gained weight last night. <laughs> Here, quick, grab it. Don't, don't leave those there. Anyways, um, we're gonna do chores. Gabby's on her way out. We're gonna do a few things around the farm this morning. Um, I, our vlog yesterday was so long, I split it into two. So, maybe I'll just post it. I don't know. Hopefully you guys saw already the video from last night explaining to you guys what's been happening with Chino. Basically, I did an update on Chino yesterday. I feel like, just a quick recap, the drugs Chino was on can often cause a reaction and cause them to get better before they get worse. It happens in people too. It's a common reaction. He had this reaction where he seemed to get way, way worse before he got better. But yesterday, the night before, Two nights ago, he started to look a little bit more perky, and then yesterday, he really seemed more perky, and then today, he's almost looking like normal Chino again. Anyway, watch that video, and then you'll understand why I'm so excited to see him so alert and bright and awake. Um, here you go. Oops, I know, we let her play with the puppy when she was small. I know. It was a dumb idea because now she still wants to do it. But she's a little she more powerful now. Come on. Nope, she wants the puppy. Come on, honey. <laughs> yeah. You should always bring a treat so she remembers. He's gonna go like every single feed bucket. Is that what he does? He looks every feed bucket. Do you know what's in the feed bucket though? You know what's left in the feed bucket? Magnesium. They just have little tiny bits of magnesium left. Gabby's like, let's just get this done. And then he has to smell everybody's poop. And then he's gonna run. Here he goes. Nope, <laughs> it's just a leisurely saunter out today. Gracie's going, <laughs> Gracie's going for it. And then Honey's going for it. <laughs> Everybody's lazy today. I got to sleep in again. Yeah, so Sophie did not have camp today. She's super excited that she got to sleep in, and by sleeping in, it mean, means like 8 a.m. I let her sleep because she's always up in the morning, and soon school is gonna start. Oh, I really like this lock a lot better. It's way more natural. Anyway, welcome to today. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the possibility that Chino is on his way to getting better. It doesn't mean that he's gonna be fully better because they can have a relapse after the drugs are done. But we're hopeful, you guys. We're actually so hopeful. He definitely lost weight with Lyme disease. He's sick. It's, it's normal for sick people and sick animals to, to lose weight, to lose condition, to lose muscle. That can be a normal thing, especially with something like Lyme disease. Same, he lost a lot of muscle. I know, I'm just sitting here videoing. I just wanted to reassure you guys. She knows like it actually starting to come around. It's a process. We have to trust the process. We're not gonna put him down just because he got sick one time. Like, we're waiting to see. He, we're waiting to see how it works out. He's doing so much better. Chino has lost weight from being sick. For being as sick as he was, his body condition score is still not bad. He's definitely not skin and bones. He def definitely still has some fat on him. He lost a lot of muscle, a lot more muscle than weight. And are he's super shiny still. Like, obviously his weight is not ideal, 
to maintain health. We want him bigger, healthier. You guys have seen him in the past. He's always been a chunky kind of guy. We want him back to his former glory, but you have to allow for that. You have to make accommodations for that. You have to understand that they are gonna lose weight, especially with a disease that causes weight loss. We are the kind of people to have faith and to see out the whole entire situation before we make a choice. And if it ever came to the point where Chino needed to be put down for his health, we would make that choice with our vet, our experienced, amazing, kind vet. Okay, honestly, there are so many cute moments on our farm. Oh, did I miss it? Shoot, I missed it. Blossom! Blossom! So this, there's this little area here. It's open on the other side, but fenced off here. So essentially, if we closed off that middle aisle. Hi, Blossom! Oh, is she there? Uh, no, ho no animals could be able to get in there, but the goats love it, and they climb this tree, and little Blossom just climbed that tree. Like, Pretty she- sure it's fenced off all the way around. Is it fenced off? No, let's I don't think check. it is. All right, let's go check. Fenced off there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're wrong. See, it's not fenced off. Oh, look at that mushroom. Is that a good one to eat? This is the this is the fence pile. It's the place. Oh, you're right, Sophie. Yeah, I know I am. <laughs> All right, show me how you're right. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna pick that mushroom and see if it's good to eat. But basically. This section over here, oh my gosh, there was a, there's a tree for it in there, or a hide. I'm gonna get that out and get it for the goats. Do you guys see it? We're getting that out. We'd have to, oh my gosh, I love it. Do you guys see it? Yeah, so it's kind of fenced off, but there's a tree for it in there. Yeah, I say we get that out and bring it out and build it it's for the- It's attached to a tree. No, we could take it out. No, anyway. Honey would climb on it. The goats come here every morning. They have like a, they have a, a plan, like every morning they come out, they go right to Chino's stall and they say hi to Chino, like they go right to their field, say hi to Chino. That's the weirdest mushroom. Yeah, it's really cool. I suspect it's not poisonous. I suspect I we could eat it. I suspect it's poisonous. We have a big problem with the goat barn. It's really hard to get stuff there. I really want to like make our goat area really beautiful. But I'm torn with having like a really nice manicured lawn down there and lots of fun toys for them and it looking beautiful and also having really good food for them to eat. Like I have a hard time mowing their food. Also having a hard time finding the food that I want. This is a total goat feed and everything that I read and everything that I look up, I can't find at our local ta at our local feed stores. And it's because where we live, nobody values goats. Nobody buys stuff specifically for goat or very, very rarely. Like at one store, I can find a sweet feed, but that's not good for them. At one other store, I can find a total feed, but I can't, I don't have access to all the things that I read about. I'm actually in a grouchy mood today. Yeah, I know. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> the coats are like, I don't care if you're grouchy, I'm coming. <laughs> I want to see what you're doing down here. Anyway, so my plan is to make this area of the goat farm, of the goat farm, um, our like winter area. I don't know. They'll probably still roam around, but if their time ever comes, I have to block them in. I want this to be the area. And that means moving the goats. I mean, technically we could move the goats over here and take over this whole barn and make it the whole barn into a goat barn. Actually, this is a better stall. What do you guys think? This is it, this is the stall. Because look, there's already plywood in here. I can make, this is a much better stall for them. Oh, I like this better. Do you like this one better? It'd be easier. And it's bigger. It's bigger and I wanna build like some areas that they can get up on. All right, this is it. And then we'll use this door. We're branching out, you guys. We're moving into bigger areas, other areas of the barn. We never use these doors. Oh, I love that we can keep it open. I actually like this because we can keep this door open to air out the barn during the day. All right. Come on out, chicken or goat. 
Uh, we might have to, well, obviously we're gonna have to rearrange all this area. Um, so also I had some comments today about how our goats are pregnant from our boy and us not getting him neutered. He's definitely been castrated because we didn't want him impregn impregnating his mother or his sister. Right, big guy? So there's no chance that he can get anybody pregnant on our farm. If our goats are pregnant, they came pregnant. We got another one of these so that we can use both stalls. We're probably going to, oh, there's a thing to hang a water bucket. I love that. I'm gonna use that. All those little moments, the bus you didn't catch me looking over my shoulder. Right, so Sophie's gonna pretend to faint and see what happens. It's gonna jab me. <laughs> Goes are not as gentle <laughs> as, as ponies are. That's why any babies born on this farm will be dehorned. This one just lays in my lap. Hi. <laughs> you can look at Blossom's feet all day long. I know. I like to look at their feet and see how they're doing. Pick up her feet and look at them. Oh, hers Hi. need to be trimmed, so I'm going to probably try and do that later today, or Blossom's at least the, the sweetest. Okay. So one of the reasons that Sophie and I decided that this is the better spot to have the goats in the winter is because there's electrical outlets here. Um, there's more room to make adjoining maternity stalls. So if um, any of our goats go into labor, if we have baby goats still up in the air, um, and then we have these, then we have these stalls that we can, so that they're with their friends still and everybody's kind of together. Ooh, I love it. We're not finished in here. We're not going to be finished in here, but we might start using it soon. I love this thing. I'm going to put more hay over here because it's longer and they can all eat without fighting. Our goals for having goats is to... <laughs> Tilly's watching me. Our goals for having goats is primarily for the milk. We want to um, milk them. Goat milk is such a delicacy. It's so good for you. Uh, we want to get into that. Um, we also want to get into breeding. So that's our, our, that's ultimately our plan too, is milk and breeding. But primarily the reason that we got goats was to help clear out the land for us, clear out all these pastures. And they're doing a really good job of it so far. Not really. And lastly, people. but actually this is the first reason we got them because we love them and they're so much fun. Don't you find them so much fun? Here's poop. <laughs> Sam is home early from work. We decided on this. Okay, so I want it over here. I want, actually, I'm gonna get a bucket that I can hang for the water. I know, well we decided on this because we can make this into a whole maternity hospital if we need to. All the mamas can have their own stalls. I'm gonna bring a bucket down that I can hang versus the one that we have on a cement block so that their water doesn't hit the ground, yeah. Just get a chain, I have a chain maybe. Yeah, see that's what I love about Sam when he's home. That's why I don't like him going to work because he always has like fun ideas. He always yeah, can how like. How low do you want this thing? Um, low, like the. Oh, hi. Like the second, between the second and the third, right in the middle. Oh no, I was thinking on the same wall as the. This one. Yeah. Oh no, down lower. Perfect. That's where their supplements are going to go. I'm going to hang the water from there. Okay, look over here. Do you think we can use that plywood and some other wood and screw it to this thing? and make a little thing that they can climb up on and then make a lower one or a higher one on this end that they can have like a double layer thing. Like a lower one on that side so okay. they're not jumping up there. Perfect. And a higher one here. All right, that's... Just find, you know, we got a skid, we cut it in half and it'll be like... All right, I'm excited. I can hardly wait to do that. Well, hello, babies. 
So we are at Costco and they finally have Uncrustables in Canada. Everybody says they're so good. We've never had them in Canada. We only have the one flavor. I know that they came like a few weeks ago and I've been looking every time we're here. Never found them before. But for the party that we're having, I found these sour blue raspberry warhead pop. So I got those. These kettle chips with that dip is super yummy. And then Sophie and I got new jackets because they're thin, but they're warm. Sophie's is Columbia and it's huge on her. So that means that she can wear a hoodie underneath it. I got this brand, it's called Paradox. All feathered down. Those are my favorite kind of coats. Don't you know that you're beautiful?